The draft is in one week, and he doesn't know how to shave properly. It's in this very ring right now. Wait! I can't believe it! Yes! Yes! The Rock is going to WrestleMania! Randy is in for another curb stop. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Unbelievable counter! Oh, my God! Unbelievable! What's going on, everybody? It's in this very ring right here live on A2D Radio. I am the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. My name is Rich. And joining me, though, don't adjust your dials. It's really him. It's the mayor of Toasty Town. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a freshly shaven baby face butters. Woohoo! Howdy, 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 howdy. I am loving this. Uh, do you want to get the cat, like, just address the elephant in the room? Where did it go? I screwed up this morning while I was shaving. I mean, don't, don't, don't trim your beards, ladies and gentlemen, at four o'clock in the morning, twenty minutes after you get up. You're still tired. That was real smart. Oh, it, it was real smart. You know, bought a new shaver. It was, you know, didn't have any juice, so I let it charge overnight. I figured I'd do it right before I get in the shower, just so I get all the hair off me in the shower. No, I got all the hair off me. All right, that's rough. We are live right here on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and we are brought to you by our friends at Allen's Travel. Allen's Travel specializes in creating the vacation of your dreams at Disney Universal or wherever your heart calls you. Let their talented team of travel experts, including yours truly, create a custom vacation for you without any distress. Allen's on over to allenz travelcom backslash take the trip to get in touch with myself. Or Eagles Talk on A2D Radio on A2D's Chuck Moranin. We can get started planning your next magical vacation as early as tonight. We are one week away. Next Friday night. No, not night two of the NFL draft. No, we don't talk about that here. We talk about the WWE draft. The 20 WWE draft will be commencing next week with night one on SmackDown. It was announced last week, Raw, SmackDown, NXT, Superstars, all up for grabs. And one question has been circulating, at least my mind. But I don't know about your mind. Uh, We all kind of a little bit talked about it earlier today. And as the draft gets closer, we start thinking about these things. Where are our favorite superstars going to land? But more importantly, we think about tonight's topic of conversation. Champions will switch brands during the draft. We know Cody Rhodes has already kind of alluded to the idea that he will be on SmackDown as the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, given the triple threat matches, LA Knight, AJ Styles, AJ Styles getting the win tonight on SmackDown, going on to that contract signing next week during during the draft for their match at Backlash in France. So will Cody stay on SmackDown? Will we see Cody go to Raw and Damian go to SmackDown? Are we going to see Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn end up on the blue brand while Logan Paul ends up on the red brand? The tag titles, while newly minted, newly revealed, while and they look beautiful, will they switch brands? Reminiscence of the ruthless aggression era. Will we see a switch in the women's title? Uh, Adam Pierce is promising a new champion on Monday after Rhea Ripley vacated her title. Last week due to injury. Bailey over on SmackDown. Her first title defense against Naomi. Interrupted by Tiffany Stratton tonight. So. Butters. I I ask you. Champions will switch brands during the draft. Agree or disagree? I'm going to disagree. I think this year. At least this year. I think all the champions are staying on their brands. The tag titles. We just just got got them uh, separated. They just each got new titles, reminiscent of, you know, as I said, alluded to earlier, uh, aggression, ruthless aggression era tag titles. Um, Yeah, I know, right? Uh, Cody is the baby face on SmackDown. Makes a lot of sense right now. Damian Priest, you know, handling Raw, especially with, you know, SmackDown staying on Fox. Fox is going to want somebody big. Raw is going to Netflix. you You can have somebody big in Damian. Or CM Punk, or even Drew McIntyre, you know. So the women's titles, those ain't going to change hands. 
I see the IC titles staying on Raw, the US title on SmackDown. I, I don't see titles changing this year. I see, you know, superstars getting shaken up more than the championships will because, you know, Sheamus, you know, return on Monday. Maybe he'll go after the IC title, the one title that's eluded him. Maybe he'll actually stay on a brand where the IC title is there so he can go after it. Um, but yeah, no, I, I will have to disagree with the poll. I don't see any champions at this time swapping brands during the draft. Um, so before we get to mine, and Pete will be on his way, by the way. He had a little te- technical difficulties at home. Um, thank you, children. That's all I'm going to say. Po from Flyers Talk on HUD chiming in. Hey, fam, always a good time of the year with the post-WrestleMania draft. It absolutely is. Our co-host Pete Evans chiming in saying good evening, good evening. Kevin Dixon goes, hey, Ritz, I know it's off topic. Why does Butters look like Jim Ross a little bit? Take it as a compliment, my dude, because I don't think you do. I don't either, but I'll take it. Brinkman says, yo, boys, you can catch Brinkman on Eagles Talk, HUD, and the final whistle. And then Pope says, happy, oh, stop it. Why would I even, I, don't, I need to read some of these first. I see Pope, and I'm just, hmm. All right, but I think that the champions are going to change hands. Um, yeah, I think it makes the most sense for it to change hands. Uh, not change, change hands. Change, change, brand. change brand. Change brand. Sorry, I'm trying to pull up a get the list of champions right You're now. good. Uh, current champions in WWE. That's one I was looking for. Um so I, I definitely do think that we see a, a changing of the guard, so to say. Yes, you want a big name on SmackDown, given that SmackDown staying on Fox. They've always had, um, you know, Roman Reigns, but they even then Roman wasn't around all the time. I think moving forward, Cody is such a big name that they're gonna want Cody on the flagship show. They're gonna want him mm-hmm. there in the mix of it all. Um, and Damien going to SmackDown, you think about it, go back, you, you bring up ruthless aggression, go back in time for me and take a look at that, that SmackDown roster, those SmackDown rosters during the draft. Edge, Undertaker, uh, Eddie Guerrero, right? Uh, who else was over there? Kurt Angle was over there. These were guys still building them. So Undertaker, obviously the veteran, but this is where Edge found his groove. This is where Eddie found his mm-hmm. groove. This is really where Angle's kind of villain arc took over and, and went to that next level. You know, you think about all those guys, SmackDown is, is a great place for, for Damien to go and come into his own as a champion. And especially if they separate the Judgment Day, which we're going to talk about in our second half, when we talk about non-champions, where are they going to go? It with Rhea being sidelined, now's a great now more than ever is a great time to rip the Judgment Day apart. Yeah, in in the sense of pulling Damian, you could kind of see you know them planting the seeds somewhat on Monday with Damian trying to get the boys the pep talk, so to speak, and it just all falling apart. Right. So it's a great way to pull Damien away. Let Damien fall into his own as a yeah. singles champion. Um, which, by the way, interesting to note, now that Rhea vacated her title, Logan Paul is the only person to have his championship post-WrestleMania. <laughs> it was Logan Paul and Bailey. Everybody, every title changed hands at WrestleMania, except the United States title and Rhea Ripley's title. Yeah. Um, but I could see Sami Zayn. While yes, we need that payoff with Chad Gable following the attack Monday night. Uh, there's rumors floating around that Chad Gable and the Creed brothers are going to team up and form a heel faction, <laughs> which I think would be I think would be great if that if that if there's any truth behind that. I think Chad Gable and the Creed Brothers, they all fit really, really well. Ivy, Ivy Nile later on retweeted one of those. One of those reports you know, and said, what? Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> I, I don't see the type, the tag teams changing hands. right? No. So if, if there was a part to my disagree, it would be this. 
if you didn't reveal the titles, new tag titles. Yeah, if you didn't reveal the titles, then maybe. Um, but it's it's also poignant to keep in mind. Raw has the world heavyweight champion, the women's world title, the intercontinental or world championship, the world tag team championship. SmackDown has the WWE title, the WWE women's title, the WWE tag team title, and the WWE United States title, which is the home of WWE. Exactly. Right? You don't you don't swap into those right now. If there was ever a time to do it, it would be now. We're ruthless aggression 2.0 right now. To a degree, yeah. And while there's a part of me that says there's nothing wrong with that, there's another part of me that says it's like, I think it's a great time for Sammy to go over to SmackDown. Right. Um, Or even bring Kevin Owens to Raw. I think you need to put those two back together. But given what Kevin Owens is doing with Solo and Tama Tonga and how Solo is kind of coming into this new interim tribal chief role, whatever we're, we're building him as. Mm hmm. Right, I think that's gonna that that just is gonna be great. But I also need you you need to have Kevin can't keep getting beat up by the bloodline. We can't rinse and repeat this nope. for Kevin Owens. We can't rinse and repeat this for Kevin Owens. Um. So, Brinkman says loving the uh, AJ versus Cody booking. La Knight is the goat, and the long term storytelling in WWE is better than ever. Agreed. Absolutely. Don Don, what's up, fellas? Holy, what the? Referring to Butters. Ryan Daly from Flyers Talk on A2D. What's up, guys? Whoa, Butters is beardless, and he's going to agree to the poll. Um, Don Don says, y'all like the new tag team titles? I do. I, I, I always love, especially the WWE titles, I always love that old school look that they had back in the day. Like, those were my tag team titles. Uh, and I think the world the world titles look great. Um, Brian Daly, after watching tonight and seeing with what they're doing with the bloodline, it's definitely ruthless aggression 2.0. I, I, I do, and, and I don't normally put up Roska comments, but the attitude aggression, almost like a combination of the two, it, I, I don't, it's not a bad name for it. Teresa wants to know why did Solo go after KO? What did I miss? Um, great question. I think <laughs> right. I think he's picking off people that he feels still haven't gotten their their comeuppance for going against Roman and the bloodline, and Roman didn't do enough when he was in a place of power, and so he's going after people like Kevin Owens. Right, um, Daly says I like both of the titles, but WWE tag titles are better than the two. So let let's kind of go through some of the champions, right? And we, like I said, we we know that the, the tag titles are probably going to stay in place. Let's go kind of down the line. And let's start with Damian Priest. Do you think he stays on SmackDown? I mean, stays on Raw. Or do you think he goes to SmackDown? Because you disagree. You think that they're, they're not going to switch. But maybe you have one or two that might. Right? Because like I said, I agree to the poll, but I think the tag titles stay, stay put. Mm-hmm. I mean... What do you think? If any titles change hands, it's going to be the mid card titles. It's going to be Intercontinental in you know in the U.S. Uh-huh. If we're going to be honest, those would be the two to change. Because right now, keeping Cody on SmackDown makes a lot of sense. Keeping you know the world title on Raw you know makes a little more sense because you know Cody's still going to feud with the Bloodline. Period. So you keep him on SmackDown. You keep the Bloodline on SmackDown. It's it's, it's going to be SmackDown's biggest draw. Fox is going to want it. You know, you want to look at both your audience, but you also want to look at, you know. I disagree with that. With with that assessment. And, and more so, the Cody bloodline story. That mm-hmm. is over. You ha- Now, you almost have to separate the two. Because you, you had Cody run through members of the bloodline. He he did that. that. That part is done. Right? So now you either move the bloodline over to Raw... Or you move Cody over to Raw. 
And if you move Cody over the Raw, then Damien has to come to SmackDown to balance the tides. But please continue. Sorry, I wanted, I wanted to touch on that while it was there and kind of relevant. But please continue. Um, But, yeah, I mean, like I said, I, the only titles I see changing in would be the, the two mid-card titles at best. I, if you know, if any titles change hands at all, because we know the NXT titles are going to stay on NXT, regardless of how they well, want to view NXT as the third brand. It's interesting you're not, you bring up NXT. They want to build NXT as a third brand, and I'm all for that. Correct. You're not going to pull the titles away, right? Correct. The draft is always. But 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 hold on. Here's what we know, and this is where you, like you're not really you didn't really answer my question. You you kind of went off on a tangent off of it, right? Um, the the draft has always been when it comes to NXT. We we know that Carmelo and we know that uh, Ilya are going up. It's 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 been confirmed that they are going up in the draft. So we know Trick's probably going to get the, the title, or Tony's going to get the title. But that title is getting dropped sooner rather than later. Correct. Right? Um, I don't see, even if, let's just say on a wild hair, right, that NXT is part of the draft this year, which I think I would like that a lot. Right? Mm -hmm. Really get to see Ava kind of, you know, bump shoulders with Adam and Nick Aldis, right? Um, I don't see you, you making that massive of a shift. If NXT was touring, then maybe. But staying well, local, no. Hold on, we're going to bring in Pete. Ladies and gentlemen, the OGP of A2D, Mr. Pete Evans. Yo, yo. We got so Andy and we got uh, Brother Love Jr. down there. <laughs> Well, well, well. Damn. So, so before before we we uh, Butters and I we were kind of in the middle of talking about NXT. Before we go, go any further than that, though, Pete, I want to get your weigh in on the polls. Um, yeah. Champions will switch brands during the draft. Agree or disagree? Yeah, I agree. It's time they they coming off the heels of WrestleMania. What we were seeing lately from WWE programming. They can afford a shake up right now. They can afford to kind of take the snow globe of talent, kind of shake it up a little bit and uh, see if it works. Because I think they have a roster now where the talent is hungry. Um, talent is willing to learn. Talent is looking to seize their opportunity. It's like friendly competitive, like it's friendly attitude era type right now. I think everybody's want everybody just wants to be the best, you know, and I truly believe that talent is going to be scratching and clawing for that top spot. So do you think it's a, it's a complete change? I mean, it obviously, well, not, I don't think it's like every champion, wrong. every champion is going to move, but right. So then which ones, which ones are, this is an absolute, I think they're absolutely moving brands. Um, I think after tonight, what we saw for those who watch SmackDown, I definitely think Sammy is Sammy and Logan are switching or swapping because I think I think Kayla is going to need some help with Tama and uh, Solo, mm -hmm. and Sammy makes perfect sense. But the only thing is Sammy has an IC strap, which that means the next IC IC champ is probably going to be Solo Soko at that point, and I think it's going to happen before Money in the Bay. Um, I think Gunther stays where he is. I was listening to you earlier when you were talking about Priest. That does make sense. Um. With really right now, now with Netflix coming up and the money that's dedicated there, that's Raw is going to be the main show again. So you're going to want Cody on Raw um, or Gunther, who's ever carrying the strap at that point. Right. Where SmackDown, like, it's, it's going to go back to that early 2000s, mid-2000s. Like you stated, the angle during the Attitude Era, so to speak, after post-Attitude Era, the aggression era is what you, if you want to call it that. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, with uh, Guerrero, Lesnar, uh, and right, Lesnar was part of that for a while, yeah. too. Yeah, um, tag titles, I mean, it is what it is, but I mean, if if Priest is coming to SmackDown, that probably means so that means all the world designated world titles are probably going to go to SmackDown as well. 
and anything WWE brand is going to come to Raw. Because once again, they're they're far away from the day they said it. They're far away from the draft of the Netflix Netflix for next year, but they can still kind of position themselves. Um, and then we'll see, man. Because this is even though it sucks that mommy's out, you know, for however long she is, it's a, it's another another person's chance to step up and step right into a role right around the draft. And I mean, honestly. I don't know, man. I mean, maybe it somehow, some way. I don't know how they're going to do it on Monday. If they're doing it, to, but the draft starts what the twenty fourth. It starts a week from to, from tonight, so next Friday. So next Friday is the first of the twenty sixth. Yep. Yeah, I don't think. But what we seen tonight, I mean, ideally, if they didn't do what they did tonight and had a clean finish, I think it would be the perfect time. Perfect time. Somehow, some way to get to get the, the world title on Tiffy. But I don't think it's going to happen with the direction of what we're seeing now. Like, cause you kind of, if you bypass all that, it's just like, what did we do? What did we do tonight for? Like, what's that? Like, there's no payoff between her Bailey and Naomi there. Yeah. And that, that's why I don't think, I don't think that we see Tiffy or Naomi being involved in that. I think you do see someone on the current raw roster mm-hmm. of women jump into that role and take the uh like if you, if you look right now i would say what is the what is the role roster of women i am looking well, there was a list i think like honestly you we can't call you butters anymore without the beard it's, you have to be called margarine now cuz it's too smooth like you I have do. to go you have to go to to some alternative form of mar uh, of, of butter. Here we go. Becky Lynch, Candice mm-hmm. LeRae, Chelsea Green, Andy Hartwell, Ivy Nile, uh Tana Chance, Caden Carter, Liv Morgan, Maxine Dupree, Natalia, Naya, Nikki, Piper, Ra- Raquel's out, Rhea's out, Shayna. Sonya's out. Tegan. Technically, Trish is on the, the roster. Valhalla and Zoe Stark. Um, Becky's not doing it. She's taking time off. Yep. I mean, well, honestly. It apparently, has to... according to the, the graphic, I mean, Becky's on that graphic. <sighs> with that, 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 you know, with that graphic you got, Becky, Liv, Nia, Maxine, Chelsea, Natty, Katana, Indy, Zoe, Caden, Candace, Shayna, Tegan, Piper, Ivy. I mean, did they announce the format at which they're crowning a champion? Battle Royal. Yeah. All right. So fine. It comes down to Becky and Nia. Nia tosses Becky. Yeah. Like out of that, all that, that, that story, writes itself. Becky still goes yeah. away. Right, Nia can say, "I finally beat you for the women's title." Blah 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 blah. Right, it, it, that writes it for Nia. You put the belt back on Nia, make her relevant, you, they, and then immediately you move her to SmackDown where she gets to learn and be better. Well, also at the same time, she recently was on some type of media and she put the one up. She threw the I, one up. It was it was the Hall of Fame. She threw the one up. I mean. What and I heard you guys talking about the Judgment Day pot potentially breaking up, and it could because the Judgment Day is those is those stars, right? It is Rhea, Finn, throw JD in there, Dom, and Priest. That's who makes Judgment Day. What we saw tonight, the bloodline for how many people don't want to admit it is bigger than Roman. Yeah, it's going, it's bigger than Roman, so you don't need that centerpiece for them to still be referenced and be and carry that same amount of power. It may not be at the same spot on the card, but if you put the belt on Nia, like you said, immediately immediately move her to SmackDown. I think it opens up a new dynamic. I think the only re- the only reason you haven't done something like this with Nia yet is you don't have any other females. You could pull Naomi in with it, right? Just but that's pure based on on marriage and all that. Mm-hmm. Right, so you could do it, but with them going the not the the route of Jade and Naomi for the titles against 
the Kabuki Warriors. Mm-hmm. Right. I don't see you doing that right now. Um, because Jay definitely doesn't fit the mix. And I, I don't think you can bring in non family at this point. Right, of course, but then also to, to make it make more sense outside of the bloodline, if you just talk about Nia winning, moving to SmackDown, all your powerhouse women right now are on SmackDown. The more believable challenges and matches that we want to see are going to be on SmackDown. Nia versus Bianca, Nia versus Jade. Lord, please, whoever has to produce that, just good luck. Just make, yeah, just make magic happen, right? Um, and then I mean. I like kind of barely moving the smack now, man. I mean, I'm moving the raw, moving the raw. That that would be cool. It's three hours. She could do more work. Move Tiff too. You know what I mean? And then you leave a period where it's actually she could be with her bow. You know, like SmackDown women being a two hour show, you need stars. Mm -hmm. Like people who are going to grab you instantaneously. Well, and, and Raw does such a better job. And maybe it is because of that 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 extra hour, but they do such a better job highlighting the women than I think sometimes that happens mm-hmm. on SmackDown. And so I think making that move, right? Mm-hmm. Now, do I think this was the plan two weeks ago? No. No. Does Rhea getting hurt change everything? Absolutely. If it's if it's two weeks ago, Rhea ain't going nowhere. Right. But that's the beauty of the that's the beauty of the current roster. SJM SJM underscore eighty six says, "What up, fam? Love the show. Is a good time exchanging ideas, rumors, and probabilities. Is there any realm where Bianca and or Jay get the belt since Rhea had to vacate the t- belt due to injury? Not you got to right take it. you got to take Jade out and Bianca. Not it, it, that would be so cold, was, bro. If the draft was happening, and I said this last week." I think I, I think I said it. I don't know if I said it on the air, and I don't know if I said it um, or if I said it just in our chat. I know I said it in our chat for sure. Rhea should have held on to the title, waited two weeks, get through the draft, and then you give up the title, right? Because then you could have put us in a position where you get a Bianca Belair as champion, right? Hell, for all we know, Charlotte Flair is going to walk out on Monday night and win the title. Mm-hmm. Is it a, is she close? I don't know, right? She tore because she tore her ACL, right? No, it was a knee injury. That's the ACL. <laughs> <laughs> I caught myself. I heard that. I have a story for you after we got off the air. But no, it, it, so, so hold on. Let me be very, very clear. On online, it just says knee injury, right? Whereas others have said ACL, have said whatever, right? So I think it's like for uh, Sonia, it is a torn ACL. I think for. Hers, it's a knee injury. I don't know if it's a hundred percent the ACL. Um, irrelevant to the fact, though, I do think Charlotte is close to being ready. Mm. All right, and with her being on SmackDown right now, technically, you do the draft. You she vacates the Rhea vacates the title on draft night. Mm-hmm. Kicking off the show, you do the same thing you did this week on draft night, mm-hmm. right? Adam Pierce goes, "Well, I guess this is a great time than any to announce my my first pick in the WWE draft." Bow down to the queen. Um, her husband's there. I can see it. I just. Because I'm trying to think of how do we get Nia to that? Like, how do we make that current roster, whoever we end up with on Raw as women, how do we create the next the next main eventer? Because I'm going to read you the SmackDown roster. Let me, mm-hmm. let me read the SmackDown roster for a minute. Alba Fire, Asuka, B-Fat, Bailey, Bianca, Charlotte, who's out with a knee injury. Dakota mm-hmm. Kai, Electra Lopez, Isla Dawn, Eo Sky, Jade Cargill, Kyrie Sane, Nichin, Naomi, Scarlett, 
Shotzi, who's out with a knee injury, Tamina, Tiffany Stratton, Zelina Vega. That's it's more top heavy than a raw roster. You so but here here it is. Here it is. You move Naya mm-hmm. and you put her with Tamina. There's your women's bloodline. Uh I can see that, but honestly, you I can still see Charlotte if they want to cat if they want to put Charlotte in the, the Battle Royal, whatever they're doing on Monday night, have her win. That gives her a reason to no, because then that does this now. Because once again, I can see Charlotte going. I think she's going to end up on Raw. But I think once again, I keep going back to what they're going to want for Netflix and that Monday Night Raw to be the flagship show. They want to try this, which means that she, I don't, she can't win the world title. You can still put Tamina with Nia as the, and have Nia as a champ, and have so, Tamina, well, and Tamina, and Tamina be there. Well, Tamina is Samoan and uh, and being the being part of the NOI family. She also got the very first uh, Liam IV a scholarship to train at the Wild Samoan Training Center. Who did that? Tamina. Wow. So it all builds. Right. right. You build your female bloodline. Hell, screw it. I don't care if you move move to me in a raw. Something, yeah. Something because once again, we just I think, I think the bloodline is coming. If, if Cody doesn't go to raw, I think yeah. the bloodline goes to raw. You have to, at this point, you have to keep the two separate. Because if you're trying to build solo, yeah. as now, this, go ahead. You know, if rumors are said to be true, people are going to get drafted to NXT as well, not yeah. from but to. Right. Well, we'll, we'll get we'll, let, let's we'll get to that. Right. That that's a huge piece of the puzzle. Right. And we're going to move right into that. I think after this because we've already talked touched on NXT. You and I did. Mm. And I know we want to talk about it, but it, we'll, we'll, you can't have Solo become this new big ass badass mm-hmm. when the guy who sits on the mountaintop of your show beat the guy that was on the that beat your big ass badass that was there before you. Right. Who was giving you orders before? Right. Who was telling you what to do? He rolled through all you schmucks. Yep. Right? You're you're not like I couldn't I could take him seriously because don't get me wrong, Solo is a scary dude. Right. Right? And and, and Tomatonga is a psychotic dude. Was he barking in the ring tonight? I think he was. Okay. But <laughs> when again, psychopath. When you look at the fact that Cody sits on the mountaintop. There's mm-hmm. no way you can ever say, eh, he's going to beat Cody one day. No. Not right now, at least. Not right now. Now, you put him over against Damien. Damien, you better watch back, brother. I don't I don't care who you got with you. You don't got enough guys. <laughs> it's yeah, not a just, fair fight. You don't have enough people. You just don't have enough people, yeah. That's why I said I can definitely see him whatever make our title. Sammy going... And then that means Cody would have to stay on roll. Yep. Co- well, he would have to go to roll. Yeah. And I, I think that makes sense because that way you keep them separate. And then you position Solo to be that next. He need like it's weird. He's just never had a title. And that's and that's somebody who yeah, obviously North American he, title. What are you talking about? I'm talking about since he got since he uh, debuted at Clash of the Castle. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah since he debuted okay. at Clash of the Ta- Castle. So, like, you have to. He was a main and a main eventer, but not the main event. So he's been around all this attention for so long without having to be the focal point. And I still yep. think he can grow into that. And I just think the the next natural progression is if you draft Sammy to, to SmackDown, his best friend Kevin has got to help him out. Ultimately, one thing leads to another. I don't know. Backlash is too soon, but maybe at Money in the Bank. You know what I mean? Solo versus Sammy, in a in a in a kind of a title, and kind of go from there. We'll see, because rumor has it, 
speaking of rumors, that Sammy right now is the early front runner to win the briefcase. Fair enough. Um, but let, let let's bring up the NXT factor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there, there's rumors circulating mm-hmm. that in their attempt to make NXT mm-hmm. a third brand, no. <laughs> oh, I forgot with, the name. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. With he had a good comment earlier, that I, and I put it up. Uh, but I don't think Liv wins on on Monday. I don't. I think it's too early in her villain arc. I think she does. Struck one there and hot. Hey, I don't know if the iron's hot though. Right, because if she's the reason why we don't have Omni right now. Yeah, that. Like, now, exactly. if you're trying to build, now if you're trying to build her as a heel, fine, sure. But then after that, where do you go? Right. And I don't. You don't have a a baby face <clears throat> on Raw that I'm gonna want to see win. Not right you, now. Oh, I just thought of this. Wow. Okay, so you have Liv win, but then you have Liv start to encroach on Dom Dom to build Rhea's return as a just a Cody like women's face. Oh, like just because we were people are already cheering for her anyway. Now you just get now you just give her a re now you give her a reason. Yeah, Liv, Liv probably could fit right in with it for right in with the judgment day. That, My that, brain hurt after hearing that. I think I lost it's brain one cells. move. He but, got brain damage. I mean, hey man. It, it's like it's, I expect that from this guy. That's ne- to know. me, that's next level connect the dots. She was so obsessed with her. Uh, but but here, here uh, here's why I think it hurts a little bit. Huh? Every report I've heard. Uh, Rhea is not coming back anytime soon. Minimum but six months. That's still I'm, that. That's enough time. Uh, I was. I've been hearing a year. A year. Yeah. So right. that, that's why, like, with everything I've heard, no, I don't want to see that for a year. I didn't. I didn't. Know it was that like I was thinking maybe like six to nine months by the end of this year. I mean, because I'm trying to think what sh- what type of sh- shoulder injury can have you out for a year. Well, you got to remember, it's not just a shoulder. She's also got that wrist injury that she was talking about on the McAfee show. So she is properly injured. Mm-hmm. Um, but this NXT and, and yeah, SJM, the NXT. such an interesting twist that Butters brought up with the NXT as a potential destination. What echelon of, first of all, I love the vocabulary. What echelon of wrestlers go to NXT? Mid card wrestlers with the ability to flex and push the brand. So, in their attempt to build up NXT as a third brand, there is a conversation of the NXT being part of the draft and pulling Raw and SmackDown superstars to NXT. Yeah, because, I mean, you can't drain the pool without refilling it. Right. One, yes, you can. Right? Because. They they they've done it year after year after year where they pulled NXT where they pulled the top NXT talent to Raw and or SmackDown. Well, and they have people waiting in the wings. That's what I always love about NXT. I don't want them to pull established stars from the main mm-hmm. roster and bring them back to NXT because that's not what we do in NXT. NXT yeah. is always building the future. <clears throat> when you look at the talent roster and you look at the champions and the the the, the people at the at the top of the mountain, mm-hmm. right? A lot of it's NXT. Yeah, like, but you get those one offs like Baron got Corbin got a rebr- a, a rebranded kind of refresh. But the one offs I'm cool with, right? Right, but we you don't have a Trick Williams in the Trick Williams position that he's in right now, mm. if they were pulling Raw and SmackDown stars to fill the pool back up. Well, so the first thing that comes to mind to, to answer this question would probably be Shinsuke, in my opinion. 
I, I think if Trick wins ultimately, which I think he will, because I think Ilya is getting to I think Ilya is getting called up. So it, it's been confirmed Ilya and Mello are going up. They are definitely going up. Okay. Yeah. So nope. that means Trick is winning the title. I like Shin. I mean, there's a lot of people off the top of my head that I, I can that are there, but just I can't narrow it down. But it's a very there are probably women and and men that could definitely use it uh, to go down to NXT because if it's going to get that attention that it did when it was the black and gold brand, I don't mm. feel as if it's that much far that far off from what Raw and SmackDown will be. Mm-hmm. Which and, and again though, and maybe because I love the concept behind NXT, I'm I'm okay if they're part of the draft within a certain degree, right? I don't want them to have as many picks as Raw or Smack. Maybe they get like overall six, three each night, right? And let them be like big picks, and we would go, oh wait a minute, what? Like a Shinsuke Nakamura, right? Bringing them back. You also got to think while they have a stacked women's division, I mean, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-nine total women. Three of them out for an injury mm. on the roster. So they had to introduce the NXT North American women's title. Yeah. Right? Women's North American title. I'm sorry. I don't know if you're ready to fill the gap when you look at the roster of guys there. Andre Chase, Axiom, Baron Corbin, Boa, mm. I don't care about. Uh, Brooks Jensen, Carmelo Hayes, we know he's going up. Uh, Stax, Charlie Dempsey, the Heritage Cup champion. Uh, Damon Kemp, Dante Chen, Dijak, Duke Hudson, Eddie Thorpe, uh, Gable Stevenson. Some of these dudes, I'm, I, I, I don't know who they are because I don't remember seeing them on TV. Uh, Ilya Dragunov, the new guy, Javon Evans, uh, Joe Coffey, Joe Gacy, Josh Briggs, Lexus King, uh, Luca, Malik, Mark Coffey, Mr. Stone. And the list goes on, right? I can keep going down this list of mm. people. Right, there are stars there. There are people there mm-hmm. that you can easily fall into that next role. That yeah. next champion. Oh my, role. easily, but with with some work and some fine tuning. And I say easily because it's either step up or get stepped on. Exactly. Yep. Down in NXT, and that's what I love. More so than it is on the main roster. If it's on the main roster, hey, this is what we're going to do. We're going to stick with it. It's eventually going to catch fire. But that group, of, and, and it's not the talent. Right. It's the performance center fans. Those members of the WWE universe that pack that performance center week in and week out because it is, it, it, it is it's indie show loyalty and mentality on a grand scale that kid's right. 19 years old is amazing bro it, it, it's a problem that kid's a problem i'm looking to see if we're related <laughs> put it like that <laughs> <laughs> but, but those are the people that make and break the talent down there yes mm-hmm. and it's in right. good hands with sean man and, the, and it and, really is and so I think, well, yeah, it would be cool to have NXT part of it. And I think it would be more cool because it would help build the Ava general manager character, mm-hmm. which, by the way, that womp womp she hit somebody with the other night was great. I loved it. Yeah. And I think it was Corey. She hit, no, Roxanne. She said, Roxanne. womp womp, you're in a triple threat now. Yep. Loved it. Yeah. So is there anybody, like, let's talk non champions because we've kind of danced around. Mm-hmm. Some aspects and different things like that. Non champion. Who do we see changing brands? Or other than Mello and Dragonov, who do we see getting called up? As we, I put up this next comment. Well, Roxanne. I mean, 
Um, yeah, they were they were having a conversation about uh, maybe Alexa Bliss returning on Monday. <clears throat> so I, 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 you will not hear me complain one bit about that. <laughs> Ooh, have her have her return and win the battle royal. Um, have her return and go up against Tiffany Stratton and everybody wins. <laughs> yeah. um, non-champion to move someone that we feel as if is going to be a surprise um, doesn't have to be necessarily a surprise just what do you think well I mean I, if Sammy moves I do think Gable moves too that's that's the crazy part yeah you, you have to do that you have to do that um I mean, I think I think they moved Natty to NXT this year, do a permanent move to NXT. Yeah, um, Natty's like the one that I am like, do it. It it yeah. hits, it works. It does um, because she she can elevate these talent so well that it's just it, it's the perfect spot for her. But she does better work on NXT anyway, right now. Um, Having win the NXT Women's Title just to you know, just to even I'll help further that. Next- uh, Oh, we'll see. I think Jimmy gets moved somewhere. I think he gets I think he gets moved. Either Jimmy or Jay gets moved. They're both going to be on the same brand again. But and I don't I think, think they're I can see that solo. Reunite uh, the brothers. Would you you said they're opposite solo? Yep. For right now at least. Yeah, because with the with the jump out, you know, ah because yeah, you really don't need that. You don't need to be in the same brand for to tell that story. And if you're trying to build towards this quote unquote, for lack of a better phrase, civil war between Solo's bloodline and maybe like, well, the Rock's bloodline or and like Roman's bloodline or however mm-hmm. that works out, right? I've been seeing that. Then, then you do that this way. You do that. By separating them for now, until we see remnants of both The Rock and Roman again. So what's? Have- so, let me ask you a question. So what is the what that civil war that we all feel as if it's coming and we want to see it? Yeah. What is the payoff for that? What event is the payoff for that? That I carry war games. Yep. If they do, if they if they can get me there with a war games bloodline versus bloodline. Oh boy. And you use that to build to WrestleMania because what goes on now, traditionally, what goes on sale right around Survivor Series? Here, here, here's, a, here's a question. Yeah. Do we see, even though he's he's probably got time off, but do we see Roman getting drafted or is he just going to stay a free agent? He just do, does whatever he wants. He's, he's above the draft. He's, no, no, <laughs> I, I get that. I think he ends up being a free agent. Yeah. Okay. I don't think he gets drafted. Um, because he is taking that time off. I think that's going to be the big story coming out of the draft is Roman didn't get drafted. What, what, why didn't Roman get drafted? Why didn't, right? right, Blah, blah, blah. So I think that starts building that. And then you're able to reference Roman. And if he does come back, he can kind of, if Jimmy and Jay are on Raw and Solo and whatever are on SmackDown, there's a lot of different ways to build here. Um, speaking of people, I think Seth gets drafted to SmackDown. I think no, because I heard Seth worked with a torn meniscus at WrestleMania. I think Seth ends up a free agent as well. He can still, uh, I could, but if he doesn't, I think the chances are he gets drafted to SmackDown and waits for his return. Maybe. I think, I think, I think we see both Jade and Bianca drafted to Raw. Staying together as a tag team for a hot minute, right. which would work because the Kabuki Warriors can bounce back and forth. Yes. You, where do we think Orton ends up? Ends up? Raw. SmackDown. Mm. I think Orton I, stays on SmackDown. If you Orton. don't, swap, if you don't swap world titles, you put Orton on Raw mm. to help with the main event scene until nope. at least until CM Punk comes back. Nope. You you leave Orton on SmackDown and let him be the Undertaker for this. This generation of SmackDown, you could, or you put Cody on Raw, Orton on Raw, 
and you know that they're there, but you just keep them as far apart as, from each other as possible. Yeah, but but you're doing you can do that on SmackDown right now too. Well, and you're, you're, te you're technically doing that right now. That's true. Here's my thing, and I'm I'm really kind of future booking, right? I think if they do Survivor Series War Games Bloodline, set up for Roman Rock WrestleMania 41. And I think I probably would have Orton win the Rumble and challenge Cody. At WrestleMania I don't. 40. I don't know if you can keep Orton and Cody away from each other for that long. And you, you based sure? on based on what you just said, keeping on separate brands. I mean, no, you, you, I, I I don't think they end up on separate brands. Though, my point. Okay, so you do think you just think okay, so you think they end up on the same brand? Okay, right? Because there's a small part of me that while yes, I think Cody does move to Raw. There is that small part of me that still says, nope, they're going to keep him on SmackDown for right now. And you run with this whole keeping Cody and Rain. It all goes to the point that it becomes a joke. Not like a bad joke, but like a ha ha mm -hmm. kind of joke. I think at some point between now and, and Mania, Cody's each other. The, you know, so at some point between now and Mania, Cody's losing the title and getting it back. There's no way he keeps yes. WrestleMania. Well, there. yeah, but that that that's something totally. So you really you need somebody to be able to take that title off of him, but then at the same time give it back to him. And I kind of have to, you know, slowly go to Ritz's point of keeping Orton there with Cody. As much as I would like to see them separated on two brands kind of have to keep them there because at some point you got to have them clash because also screw screw the, the concept of cody and, and randy going at it right mm -hmm. on smackdown right what's up tom what's up tom who is your your locker room leader who is that veteran that's been in the business up and down, and that and that can play that role because if you remember what everybody talked about with that ruthless aggression, SmackDown mm. was Undertaker. What he wasn't always the champion. He was Undertaker. Leader. Undertaker kept that locker room in check. Uh Ko. In my opinion, he's been in the business long enough. No, he yeah. has, he has, he has. I just, I mean, I intimidating, know. like to, to that point, and that's tough because no one really is that builder. That's no, I, I, I'm not thinking like builds that. I just think of like the, the, a commanding presence. And so, if if you really had to point somebody out for like, say, let's just say, for instance, for Raw and SmackDown, you SmackDown side, you're gonna have Randy Orton. Raw side, you're gonna have CM Punk. I mean, you could. Because, I mean, everybody is gravitating towards CM Punk backstage for the advice, for the, the leadership, for, you know, every well, time. Because all these kids grew up watching him. Right, they're stroking exactly. his ego. Right, they're, they're stroking his ego, but how long before? And I, I, definitely think he's, I definitely think he's going to keep playing nice because it's just, these are unheard of business, unheard of numbers, yeah. unheard of revenue. It's going to keep going higher and higher and mm -hmm. higher. I just wh wherever punk goes, Drew goes. You know what I mean? Like that, like you have to have that. You know what I mean? So that, that means AJ, Drew's on SmackDown. AJ is a good one. Yep. Right, so yeah, definitely. As far as a, a locker room leader as well. WWE will continue to build Cody's resume. Orton will be an imminent opponent. CM Punk also. Sammy will get his as well. Mm -hmm. I I honestly honestly. I think the person that takes the title off of Cody is Seth. I think I Cody, Cody, give when Seth comes back, whenever after his time off, yeah. right? Hey, you were my shield when I went to go finish my story. But mm. how, how long? How long do you think Seth will be out? Because he just had surgery the other day. Or yesterday. When this are like two months, but the back and all that time with the family. SummerSlam. Yeah, because you let Cody have other programs, you let him build up, you let him run through people, right? He comes, Seth comes back, beats Cody, right? 
Cody mm -hmm. scratch claws, bites his way back to the top, right? Wins it back at Survivor Series or even the Rumble. And then you reposition him for WrestleMania for next year. I mean, at that point, if we're not doing Orton, it has to be Gunther. Has to, it has to be at WrestleMania. It, ha, it has. Oh, at to WrestleMania, be. Yes, 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 yes. I think Gunther wins at WrestleMania. Not WrestleMania. Right. I'm sorry, the Royal Rumble. Mm. If Cody is champion, I think he goes after Cody. But the variable is that world title. Mm. Who is champion there? Because Gunther may be the perfect fit to go after that world title. You let Imperium, if he still with, has Imperium at his side, they grab the tag titles. And you kind of let Imperium get back to that, I'm going to run Rupshaw over you, over this entire roster. And if you want to do that, then, then the person who has the world title going into WrestleMania 41 has to be the, the dude that's chilling right now in Saskatchewan. Has to be. No shot. The, 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 they're bringing him back. Like, he's not I, done. I, I, I don't think he's done either. I just don't. I don't see. And even when we were talking about it this year, right, leading up to WrestleMania, I don't see how you get to Brock Gunther. I, I just can't put it bad together. Muff, too bad. Yeah. I, I on right. I, I don't get me wrong. But what other than I'm going to just beat you senseless, right? What story does that tell? The best thing about Gunther, and, and this is what yeah. I love about him so so much. While he is fantastic in the ring, mm -hmm. I think he tells a phenomenal story. Oh yeah. But that's and why he would be the, he would be the lead in that. But like you it's can't it, do that with Brock. Mm -hmm. you, you mean just in the ring or just overall? Overall, you can't. Okay. Brock's that's stories, it's the one downside of Brock. His stories right. are real simple. I'm going to hurt you and then I'm going to leave. That doesn't work for Gunther. That that's beneath the man. But also at the same time, if you look at somebody who wants to challenge himself and be the best and be the ring general, he has to go through a Neanderthal who, who's just as powerful but does it in a way to where it's not as eloquent or exquisite uh, up to Gunther's yeah. taste. Maybe. You see what I'm saying? Maybe. But I also think it would, it would also really the other key factors, where's Paul Heyman at that point? Because I think you bring Paul Heyman into that mix, put him back with Brock, that story has a better vibe. When no, Brock I think, doesn't, I, when I Brock think Paul's always Paul, attached to the bloodline now, though, in my, in my opinion. But it depends on how the Civil War thing goes. Because you already kind of see with how Solo is acting around him. Mm. Solo doesn't really want him around, at least on, on paper and story. Right. right. He wants to be he wants to be unhinged. He wants to be able to, to do what Correct. he wants to do. Right. Right. All right. So we got two minutes. We're gonna answer this real quick. MJF to WWE ever a possibility. Yes. Yes. And I think sooner rather than later, because Tony Khan doesn't know how to run a wrestling corporation. Yep. Yes. And, then and now the WWE corporate. is hot. And hot, if, hot, if what hot. CM Punk said is true. And none of them have no compete clauses in their contracts. Wow. I didn't hear that part. Yeah, CM Punk, that's why he was able to show up at Survivor Series. He didn't have a no compete. Wow. He could have showed he could have gotten fired in London and been on Raw that Monday. Yep. But that is it for us tonight, guys. We're gonna get out of here. I I, I still don't have an answer. On next week, if we're going to be on or not regarding the draft, I, I part of me says no because I don't want to go up against the NFL draft, which is happening all at the I was same about to say, time. That's, that's, it's gonna be so big that I mean, yeah, it, it, there's gonna be too much going on. So, as of right now, it's planned not to be on next week. Um, that may come change in the coming days, we'll let you guys know. But make sure you guys hit that like, hit that subscribe button, make sure you guys are following us on all our platforms YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Twitter, everywhere that, that HUD is found. We want to thank our sponsor, Alan D. Travel. 
for OG Pete Evans. Catch him Monday nights on Eagles Talk on A2D. It's a lot of me next week, baby. I can tell you that. Are you doing the draft show? Yeah, so this man's going to do more in a week than most people <laughs> do in a month on this company. This man right here, for Butters, I'm Rich. We will see you guys next time. Until then, peace, love, and joy. Peace. We're out of here.